Good morning. I'm Kelly. <laughs> and I'm Caitlin. <laughs> and today on day eight, we have crispy sriracha potato salad. The sriracha is in all caps because it's like so hip and trendy now. Yeah. Isn't Except that a it's good like point? a little like 2013. Well, anyway, you've it's been not making kale. it for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Not kale. We're going to learn how to make it. Okay, so sriracha, for people who aren't familiar, is the green top rooster sauce that you find at many Asian restaurants and kind of now everywhere. And Definitely in the international aisle of your groceries, certainly Asian specialty markets. Yes, it's delicious, spicy, but also has really great flavors and aromatics in it. Um, okay, so I have a little bit of a complex when it comes to potato salads. I do not like cold potatoes and I do not like mushy potatoes. And You're fussy about too how the potatoes much are. mayonnaise is just a lot for me. Yes. So this is my take on a potato salad. It's delicious for game days, picnics, potlucks, anything that you can handle. And if it gets to room temperature, it's still delicious. Yeah, really. It really. I is. always thought you had to have it warm. And then just the other day, a friend was eating some uh, Talk to the room temperature. A friend was eating some room temperature, and I said, "What are you doing? It's not optimum temperature." She said it's delicious. <laughs> I didn't know it was supposed to be warm. Okay. So, as it turns out, do you like how I said a friend was eating it? Like, I right. was just walking down the street. And, and I don't know the person. She was sitting on there, her front porch just eating the potato salad room okay. temperature. So, for this recipe, I like to get baby red potatoes. I quarter them so that everything is at least uh, the same size. That way, it will all cook evenly, crispiness-wise. Um, if you want it to cook faster, cut them into even smaller portions depending on how yeah. you want to serve them. All that good stuff. So can you do that again? On so how you want to serve them? So okay. many options. Drizzle it with olive oil, season it with salt and pepper, pop it in the oven until they're extra crispy. I'm going to go get them out of the oven, and while I do, Kelly can tell you her trick as to how do you... Oh, yeah, my potato. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so it's probably no surprise that um, I have neither the arm strength nor the knife skills to cut all those potatoes. I would probably cut two, get eight pieces... Mm -hmm. And that would be the end of the potato salad. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. It's a hot, crispy potato okay, salad. Go ahead. Okay, go anyway, ahead. so here's what I do I go and get potato bags of red potatoes that have already been quartered um, and that are frozen out of the frozen food section at the grocery. The ones that I get are seasoned simply with salt, uh, sea salt, and black pepper. And I just follow the directions on the package as to how to cook them and then toss them in the dressing when they come out. It saves a lot of time. It's just as delicious. For me, it works texturally. You might not get all the crisp crispness you need out of it, Yes. but it's a good fix. Okay, so I put my warm roasted potatoes into a bowl. And on top of that, you can do this in a separate bowl, but for me, it's all about um, how few dishes I wanna do. You do <laughs> two parts mayonnaise, to one part mayonnaise, or two parts mayonnaise, to one part yellow mustard, just ballpark classic. Prepared. Prepared mustard. To one part sriracha. In the sriracha piece, add a little bit and always doctor it up if you can handle more. So as Caitlin said, she's squirting it right on the potatoes. I like to do the dressing on the side just so I can taste as I go along. Clearly you've done this 8,000 times, so you know <laughs> just how you like it. But um, I tend to, put too much dressing on if I do it like that. Oh. And then I, you can't undress it. Lord knows I'm not gonna cut any more potatoes to put in. <laughs> okay, do you wanna do a Okay, and then it turns shot. this pale orange color and Ooh, there's still steam. Dun, 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 dun. And it's delicious. And you make right friends away. this way. Yes. Another thing you served it with recently is um, grilled pork tenderloin. Mm. Oh, that so good. good. Um, also the sauce topping is like could be your secret sauce you know that's another way to make it separately so you can hold on to the leftovers mm -hmm. and put it on burgers hot dogs any kind of condiment even corn use it sure Why yeah because the creaminess of mayonnaise the tang from the mustard and then the heat comes in with tons of flavor from the sriracha there's the rooster kind of doodle do yes okay thank you for tuning in get involved we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow 30 and 30 cookingwithcaitlin.com thank you